So we're asked here to determine the balance mass for the following uh, fictitious propeller. So we have a three bladed propeller. Uh, blade one is one kilogram at three millimeters. The center of gravity is at three millimeters. Blade two is two kilograms at six millimeters. And blade three is three kilograms at uh, two millimeters. This is obvious, obviously not a real life situation. You wouldn't get this disparity in the values, but it's, it's just good as an, um, as an example. Okay, so uh, if we were to um, roughly work out where we think uh, our solution is, so blade one is uh, one kilogram at three millimeters. So we can say then that M R is gonna be one by three, which is three. So we'll draw that, let that vector uh, equate to three and it's at zero degrees. The second one is two by six is 12. And it's going in that direction. Second one is three by two is six. It's going in that direction. And our solution should be somewhere like this. That's what we should expect to get. Okay, so if it is to balance, then the sum of the forces in the x direction must be equal to zero. And the sum of the forces in the y direction must also be equal to zero. So <clears throat> this is the sum of the forces in the y direction. And this is some of the forces in uh, the x direction. So you can see we have m, m r, r r sine theta r. Uh, sorry, I said again. M one r one sine theta one, plus m two r two sine theta two, plus m three r three sine theta three. When we add them all up, uh, we will get the um the m mass and position the vertical position uh, of the resultant and uh, we just need to change the sign so <clears throat> when i do that for the for the vertical forces so blade one was one kilogram by was it three millimeters i think it was so i've left everything in millimeters so one by three is three the angle was zero so mr sine theta so one by three by the sine of zero uh, is zero. Uh, for the blade two, it's two by six, which is 12. It's 120 degrees. So the sine of 120 multiplied by 12 gives me uh, 10.3923. So I do that for each one of those, um, each one of the blades, and I get plus 5.19615 for the for the y values and I get minus six for the x values but we see these are equal to the minus mr or our cosine theta r. so if that's a minus then mr or our cosine theta r is a plus so we just change the sign okay <clears throat> similar here we just change the sign and I explained why uh, in, in another video so I have my cosine value and my sine value so the cosine value was a positive 6 sine value was a negative 5 so in our quadrant uh, where is cosine positive and sine negative it's in this quadrant here so I've drawn my 6 and my minus 5.196 then my resultant is this is a this is a right angle uh, triangle so the square and the hypotenuse is equal to some of the squares on the other two sides so the resultant mr rr is equal to the square root of six squared plus 5.196 squared and that works out to be eight so the angle then is uh, the inverse tan of opposite over adjacent which is minus uh, five point 0.196 over 6, the inverse tan of that, and that works out to be minus uh, 41 degrees. So that angle there is 